This video is going to be over rounding decimal numbers. Well, why do we need to know how to round decimals? Well, here are some examples. Molly has $16 in her pocket. She buys three hot dogs at $1.89 of each, three milkshakes at $2.19, three large fries at $1.79. Well, how do we know if she has enough money? Gas costs $1.79 per gallon. I'm running on empty and I have a 20 gallon tank on my truck. About how much will it cost to fill up? You have one hour to take a 50 question test. About how much time can you spend on each question? Well, all of these questions are examples of what you might come across in real life and you'll need to know how to round those decimals to estimate the cost of whatever you need to do. Well, here's a rounding poem that I like to teach my students um, to help them understand and remember how to round. Find your number, look right next door, four or less, just ignore. Five or more, add one more. And we're going to go through that poem. Rounding, let's review how to round whole numbers. Well, you first round 474 to the closest hundred. Remember, you want to round it to the nearest hundred, so one, tens, hundreds, in whole number, this is the hundreds place. So if you want to round to the hundreds place, our poem says you look right next door. If it's four or less, you ignore it and it stays four. If it's five or more, you add one more. So here is five one more. So all numbers that are after the place value end up being zeros. So because this is 5 or more, our 4 changes to a 5, so 474 becomes 500, rounded to the nearest 100. Let's practice rounding these whole numbers before getting into decimals. We're going to round these to the nearest hundredths place. So the nearest hundredth, this is a hundred, this is the hundredths place, hundredths place, hundredths place, hundredths place, in hundreds place. That means that all numbers after the hundreds place are going to be zeros. So all the numbers in red are going to be zeros. So we look right next door because it's four or less we ignore it. So 4215 becomes 4200. Look right next door our 9 makes our 3 change to a 4. Our 7 makes our 2 change to a 3. Our 9 makes our 5 change to a 6. And our 3 makes our 6 stay the same. So hopefully that was a, a review of how to round whole numbers. <coughs> now what about decimal numbers? The same rules apply as the poem and the poem apply. The same you know, to decimal numbers as it does to whole numbers. So if we want to round 4.167 to the closest hundredth, remember our hundredth place is right here. So that means we need to look next door and our 7 is 4 or more, so our 6 changes to a 7. So it becomes 4.17. Now, remember, if you are asked to round to the nearest tenth, your answer will stop at the tenths place. So that means if here it says 42.73, or 42 and 73 hundredths, we want to round that to the closest tenth. Well, our tenths place is our 7, and so it stops at the, seven place, the, seven, the tenths place. And when you rounded whole numbers, all the rest of the numbers became zero. Well, when rounding decimals, you just stop at that place value. So we're going to round this number to the nearest tenth. So we're going to look next door. Because our 3 is 4 or less, our 7, we're going to ignore it, and it's going to stay 7, so 42.7. Now, when rounding nines, round 2.197 to the closest hundredth. Well, our hundredths place is our nine. Now, since there is a nine in the hundredths place, we have to consider the tenth 
and the hundredths place together. So that means we need to consider this number as 19. So when we look right next door, our 7 is either going to tell our 19 to stay 19 or change to 20. So because our 7 is bigger than a 5, it becomes 2.20. Round 4.95 to the closest tenth. So we round, round it to the closest tenth. Well, because that's a 9, we need to look at the next number beside it. So we need to see if it's going to stay 49 or if it's going to change to 50. So our 5 makes our 9 change, our 49 change to 50, so it becomes 5.5. Zero. Don't forget to put the, your decimal point back. Let's try these. I want you to try these on your own. We're going to round to the nearest tenth here and round to the nearest hundredths here. Press pause on your player. Try that on your own and when you're finished press play again to check your answer. Now that you're back, let's check our answers. We're going to round the first column to the nearest tenth. So here's our tenths place. So if I look next door, my 6 makes my 5 change to a 6. My 2 makes my 3 stay the same. And because this is a 9, we need to take both places. So it's either going to stay 9 or change to 1.0. Our 8 makes our 9 change to 1.0 or 10. If we want to round this to the nearest hundredths place, here are our hundredths places. Let's look next door. Our 4 makes our 8 stay the same. Our 6 makes our 5 change. And because this is a 9, we need to look at this. And since they're all three nines, we need to look at all of them. So we need to look here. Is it going to stay 999 or so it's going to stay 999 or it's going to change to 1,000? Well, since our 7 makes our 9 change, it changes to 1,000. And we need to round to the nearest hundredth, so changes to 100. Hopefully that has helped you understand how to round decimal numbers. If you still need help, contact your teacher.